Hello and welcome to your April 2023 full moon reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share widely. Now, the next full moon or the April full moon is on April the 6th and it is in full power at 5.34 a.m. Now, let's talk about this because it is not the only powerful event that happens in the stars that can help us all <clears throat> in April. First things first, let's talk about the April full moon. So, it is in the sign of Libra. And it is also known as the pink moon, which has to do with the fact that around the time, or, or when that time comes, April 6th, um, by default there's loads of little pink flowers, so to speak, and they are actually creating some sort of a, of a misty color and a misty flow. Um, and because... Um, you could see them looking like they're moving about and there's so for energy in them. Um, that's why the moon was named after them. And also because the earth is about grounding when we had that, that, that I don't know, that carpet of flowers, if that makes sense. So energy is, because it is called the pink moon, it has a couple of different meanings when it comes to energy. Number one, the name was given because of flowers. So... Flowers have to do with scent. It's one of our senses. So therefore, be aware that when the full moon comes, the sense of scent will be heightened. Right? So, you know, that's that's quite important to realize. And then it is called the pink moon. Now, when it looks, when we look at color therapy, um, and we are always surrounded by color, and color is really important whether or not you use it for therapy or, uh, or, or therapy or not. Pink is the first color we remember from the inside of the womb, which means what will happen this month in April, on April 6th, is because of the association with pink, you can expect anything to do with your family, especially your mother's side and the feminine side of your family, to flare up. So if there's anything that needs to be looked at, it will very likely flare up at around that time. And here's the thing, because the moon sits in Libra, which is the seventh house. Seven is the number, highest number of protection and healing. Use whatever needs to happen um, that needs to be looked at, you know, with, with how you grew up, whatever trauma uh, your upbringing held, all that kind of stuff. Use it to find and aim for balance and harmony. What doesn't help you is to get annoyed again. If it's still triggering you, whatever is triggering you, does it make a lot of sense to carry that with you? So it's about letting it go, and because the the um, Libra, by default, is depicted by an, an old-fashioned scale, the scale always needs a counter a counterweight to work. So therefore, going things alone doesn't work. And if if the the counterbalance, which would be whatever family uh, um, dynamics you have, would be the family. At the same time, you're not necessarily asked to reach out. But you can create a balance uh, just as well by accepting an apology you never got. Point is, we're all individuals. The point is because the energy of pink has to do with associating oneself to the birth, if that makes sense. Now, the full moon, obviously, unless, unless it's going to be your birthday. Uh, so the moon itself is quite an intricate part of our universe. And there's a, another thing that is really uh, important for you to probably just write down. Every 19 years, the moon is exactly where it was when you were born. So not just in the same phase, but at the exact same spot. So therefore, when it comes to reconnecting to your younger self, to your, to your time of birth, and then figuring out what can, what can be released from there, can be tweaked from there, what still needs to be looked at, every 19 years. So when you're 19 and then, you know, 19 years on, 38, that kind of stuff, is a much or is the strongest energy for you to actually deal with family trauma. Now, conversely, that does not mean that you should wait 19 years and then wait for these dates to come along. Just be aware that there are energies um, or there is energy um, that is stronger on certain dates. And I just want to mention this uh, because this is about harmony and it is about balance. And so the 19 years on your birthday also is about achieving balance and harmony. I know it is not completely di directly related to the full moon, but energetically speaking, it is important to notice this. So, the full moon itself, like I said, is not the only 
only super important important date and for the most part as already mentioned it will allow you to look at and deal with stuff that has to do with your ancestry with your family much easier another really important event and it's not really an event it's just the way uh, the cookie crumbles i suppose is that on april the 11th 2023 so a mere five days after the full moon we have an elongation that happens and an elongation means that the there, there are shadows that you can see and, and 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 these shadows when they you know every planet you know that gets light obviously uh, um, also gives shadows the point is there's an elongation in mercury on the 11th of april and therefore you see more than you and you see things that you normally wouldn't see and because mercury is the energy of communication on the 11th of april because of the elongation that is happening it is much easier for you on that day to actually um communicate and again we probably revisit stuff uh, that needs to be looked at now interestingly enough when that happens on the 11th of april um mercury like i said has the elongation <laughs> but the moon is very very close to venus venus is the planet that has to do with love if that makes sense um and so the point here is that when it comes to seeing what needs to change it will be will be highlighting what needs to change can change or even can make better in what is known as more intimate relationships if that makes sense uh, same thing if you want to if you're into manifesting a relationship um the 11th of april is probably the strongest day for this in the month of april so i hope that helps because you know while the full moon is really important the energy of the full moon is really the strongest on the day of the full moon and then you can feel it three four days before three four days after some people are very moonstruck if that makes sense right but the energy this month because of the association with pink and because of the association with the sign of libra is all about aiming to find harmony and balance it is not the time when the full moon hits you to be overly aggressive to be overly uh, forceful you have to or ought to find a way to say things in a more measured more balanced way anyway that's all i got this month um remember i also record uh, um, readings for each star sign that you can access totally free of charge on my channel please like subscribe and share it would really 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 make a difference uh, to me and to the channel thank you so much see you soon bye bye